This tutorial is going to show you how to make incredible trailers using free AI video tools. You'll learn to create a consistent cinematic look across the entire trailer. We'll even cover free and easy ways to find the perfect sounds. Let's get started. To make an AI movie trailer, you can make an image with a tool like Midjourney, then animate it with Pika Labs, and you can put it all together with a free video editor like CapCut. I'll use Midjourney, but you can use an equally great free tool called Leonardo AI. And just Google the one you want to use, sign up for an account, navigate to the left side panel, enter a prompt that describes the image, and you are good to go. Where a lot of people struggle in making a great trailer is consistency, and images affect this part the most. If your prompt doesn't have the right controls, then colors aren't going to flow scene to scene, it won't have a movie aspect ratio, and it won't feel like one connected movie trailer. So advanced prompts solve these problems, but they're very difficult to memorize and understand what to do every time. So we're going to use ChatGPT to make it very easy on ourselves, and we're going to tell it what we're doing in the film we're trying to accomplish, and ask for camera, film, and color grade recommendations. So it'll explain its recommendations back to you, and it's a great way to learn, but now we can turn this into an easy prompt for ourselves by telling ChatGPT, separate this with commas, put it into very concise format, and now you can copy and paste this at the end of every prompt and create a consistent video. So you just stick to describing your character and the settings and the things that are important to you in the movie and copy and paste the rest, which is going to cover the camera specifications, color grading, visual tone, and the overall prompt will look like a big wall of text, but you're only changing a few words to make the whole thing work well. In Midjourney, I add double hyphen AR 21 to 9 at the end, which tells it to do a widescreen cinematic aspect ratio, and then double hyphen C10, which varies up the four images it gives you a bit, so you have some optionality. So you can see with this formula, I can switch characters, I can switch scenes, and it all feels connected in the same final video. And if you're using Leonardo AI instead of Midjourney, it works the exact same way with ChatGPT. So when you animate these images, you probably want to keep the motion low so it looks a lot cleaner. Go to Pika Labs, join the beta, and join the Discord group. And if you type backslash animate, you can add an image, drag it in there, and click the option to add a prompt. Then you can write hyphen motion zero, which helps reduce the wonkiness of the animation by giving it less to do. So I'm throwing in another dash and putting FPS 24 to set a movie style frame rate, and dash camera, zoom in, to make sure I'm controlling the camera movement the way I want to. If you like the animation, you can download it right away, and if you don't, you can reshuffle it and modify your prompt with that button there. Just remember, more complexity means more wonkiness. Now, the key to a good trailer is exciting people with sound and visual cues, and CapCut is a free video editor you can use for this. I'm going to start with a standard widescreen aspect ratio and drag and drop in a clip, and until you really know what you're doing, I recommend that you start with an establishing shot that helps the user understand the setting. So this helps the audience feel the world of your movie trailer is real. And with the establishing shot at the start, I can drag in the next shot of my character, and now the two shots seem very connected. I'm going to show you a trailer I made, and the assignment is to identify the sound and visual cues so you have a sense in your trailer of how much you need to do to keep your viewers stimulated. You okay, kid? That's the truck. Doesn't look like anyone's in it. How come you're not more interested in the blood on the door? Because that locket belonged to my wife. Do you think she was here? Couldn't have been. She drowned in the lake out here 12 years ago.
Trailers are all about getting attention and excitement going so that the viewer wants to see more, and that's why big titles and sound effects are so dominant. They're stimulating you, and CapCut has preset titles or text you can use for this, and you just need to add an animation on the right side, and then go to audio and look for a sound effect like a hit to match the animation. So you want it to happen as the title pops in. So click add or drag and drop it in, and then what you want to do on this timeline is make sure that the sound effect is hitting just as the title has loaded in so it seems that the title is what's causing the sound once it's fully landed. So sound effects like the driving and ones we just saw can be found for free in CapCut sound effects library in the left side panel and you just drag them into the timeline and mash them with your video as you've seen before but I use another free service called Pixabay. They have music as well, but if you go to the sound effects they have, there's a lot more options than CapCut, including ones you're gonna recognize in pretty much every single movie trailer of the 2020s. Once you've downloaded a sound effect from Pixabay, you just drag and drop it right into your CapCut timeline and move it around until it fits the clip just as you've seen before. So moving on to dialogue, I have a more thorough tutorial in another video, but I used HeyGen for a lot of scenes in the trailer you just saw. So if you go to Avatar, then Photo Avatar, click to upload your photo, it's going to appear in a circle. You choose it, you click Landscape, and go to the top menu, and you can remove the frame now so that it's full size. And then you can upload audio if you have it. You can record your own voice or write a text prompt that will be spoken by one of the many default voices that they have. They're using 11labs.io, and if you go to their website directly, they actually have a lot more voices to choose from. And now from here, you can adjust the image size to look widescreen, and then add in the black background so that you have the black paneling, and it looks like the letterbox style that you see in the movie theater. How come you're not more interested in the blood on the door? 